I've been following Bernie for a long time, um, but right now it just seems like the perfect time for him to be in the Senate because, first of all, things are going so crazy in um, in Washington now. Um, in my opinion, and a lot of my friends' opinions, um, the far right has taken over, and the environment is suffering, and the common man is suffering, and women are suffering. Um, and Bernie is the type of person that doesn't have any fear. He just gets right in there and says what he thinks. He's you know, he's, he's aggressive at, at a supporting and standing up for the common American. And he he's already done it in the House of Representatives. And being in the Senate, it'll just be that much more powerful of a position for him to really make a difference in what I think is a lot of really good ways. You can cross me off your schedule. incredible feeling in the air, uh, a real electricity. It's great to be here. Uh, I can tell you the best political moment in my life so far was when Bernie first got elected to the House of Representatives. This is a man who has fought for everything that we all believe in, for workers, for veterans, for children, He's done it, and he's kept his principles, and he's fought hard, and he's been an incredibly effective member of the House of Representatives. And now, with your help, we're going to put this guy in the U.S. Senate, and he's finally going to turn this country around. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the next senator from the state of Vermont, Bernie Sanders! Thank you. Wow, a lot of people here. Thank you. I know you're here to hear me give a three-hour speech. That's right. I hope they told you that. And at two, just don't sing, all right. And at two in the clock in the morning, we'll bring out the musicians. But I want to say a word about the musicians. The people that we're going to be hearing tonight, as you all know, and that's why you're here, are not only some of the best musicians in the state of Vermont, they're some of the best musicians in America. And as Vermonters, we are very proud of their accomplishments. But I want to say this also. Not only are they great 
musicians and entertainers. There's something more. Uh, there are a lot of fine musicians out there, but not everyone is prepared to put their names on the line in the fight for social justice and a different direction for this country. And they are doing that. So I want to thank Mike Gordon and Brett Hughes and Rambledoff and the musicians in Rambledoff, Gordon Stone, Neil Cleary, Scott Morosky, Brett, uh, Greek, Claire, and Aya Inouye. I want to thank our special guests, John Fishman and Grace Potter. And I want to thank my wife and daughters who are here as well. Now I'm going to cut my three-hour speech down to about three minutes. But this is what I want to say. I think uh, that I appreciate your being here tonight, and I know you're here for the music, but I know that you're also here for another reason, and that is that you understand that our country is facing some very difficult times. And you know that in the White House right now, we have the most reactionary, incompetent, and corrupt leadership in the history of the United States of America. 